After last week's eventful episode, our heroes meet a new ally and a relationship is not off to a good start. Let's talk everything Shaman King episode 14. While on their way to Lucky Mountain to try and find the location of the Patch Village, our heroes meet Lyser, a young man looking for allies to take revenge on a common enemy from his past. And before I dive into my thoughts, let me know what you think. What did you think of that episode last week? I have a review up for it, and you can find it right here if you have not checked that out. It's my favorite episode of the show thus far. But how have you been feeling about Shaman King? Let me know how you rank the episode so far in the comments below start the conversation it's always the most important part and while you're down there consider clicking the subscribe button if you're new to the channel it does wonders to get my content out there and will join a beautiful shaman king loving community and you'll always be aware of whenever i upload more great content this is a much slower episode of shaman king this week last week was very eventful, a lot of things happened, a lot of unpackaging to do, but this week when it comes to like the bulk of the episode, we really have just one thing to talk about, our heroes meeting Lyserg. We got a quick recap of the last scene of last week's episode, how comes in, he murders Lily Rara very quickly, and we'll get to the final scene in a little bit. And so our heroes are on their way, and in the meantime, they're intercepted by Lyserg, who seeks some allies, and so he challenges our heroes to a fight. And if he wins, he can join their group, and he beats not only Horohoro, who gets into a fight with him, but as soon as Ren intervenes in the defense of Horohoro, Lyserg outsmarts them both. He puts them both down. He <laughs> puts them in a position where they need desperate medical assistance. And something that I really like here is when Eliza comes in, Yo is very friendly as Yo is one to be and just meets him, just accepts him. But soon enough, the others do not trust him enough. And so the fight between Horohoro and Eliza ensues, Ren intervenes and all that. But from this moment on, my favorite element of this episode was that Yo got serious. He got very serious. And when Yo decides to ignore Lyserk's plead and rush to get his friends to the hospital, Lyserk takes this personally and so he tries to attack Yo with his awesome technique, let's be fair, with the, constr the spiritual construction of a Big Ben tower to drop on Yo, but Yo with one blow just destroys, he takes Lyserk down twice. And I really like seeing this demeanor in Yo because it shows us what is important to him and what he will consider others to have taken too far. You attack Yo's friends, he doesn't play around anymore. You are now personal business. And so Yo takes that priority to heart, but Lyserg in desperation just blows out his entire backstory and the exposition that he has to get through about his father who was a dowsing expert, the greatest detective in the world, aka Sherlock Holmes, but they can't use that name because it's not property of Toei or anything or whoever is taking care of Shaman King Studio Bridge, I believe. And we see the backstory of Lyserg in his sixth birthday, which by the way, they show that Lyserg in his sixth, sixth birthday was in 1992 and Yo now is 13 as far as we know as far as what the show clearly established and so one thing is Lyserg is obviously older than Yo and by this show's timeline unless there's a big mistake and it probably is there probably is a big mistake so this show this story is set in 2005 2006 maybe i got very confused as soon as the year showed up on screen and my mind started to wonder about the timeline of the show and so lyserg if this is set in 2005 2006 lyserg is supposed to be what 18 19 years old if my math is correct i'm not good at math so feel free to correct me in the comments below and so he's older than yo and all the others apart from ryu maybe which is really weird to me i i don't know if i'm 
hanging on to this too much? Should I just let it go? But it just threw me off for a bit. And so in Lyserick's story, when he gets home from finding his birthday present from his father in the Big Ben, his house is on fire, his parents are dead, this stranger was in his house and just demolished Lyserg and destroyed his life as he knew it. And when Lyserg goes to attack Yo, it's one of my favorite shots of the episode, and Yo looks back at him in anger to tell him to stop, he needs to take care of his friends. Lyserg just sees how how looked at him in the day that the death of his parents occurred, and I find that a really great visual storytelling. And so at the hospital, Horohoro now understands Lyserg's story, our heroes take pity in him to the point when, when Lyserg wants to go on his own path, Ren just says, hey, we owe How one too, so we, we have the same goal, so come with us. And so they grab a meal, which is always great. I love when characters grab a meal to make peace and make amends and all that. I just find that very comforting for me. And everyone is now wondering, like, why does Hao want Yo after only seeing him once? There's actually a really great discussion at the dinner table with our heroes saying, so Ren and Yo had the same power level when they fought in the preliminaries, but Hao only saw Yo once and now he really wants him in his army on his side he really wants you to get stronger why does he need want ren i like this like this a lot i like characters proactively trying to figure out this mystery that obviously we know and so that even gets you more engaged to have them find out that answer and when yo is considering why Lyser did what he did, and why how is possibly doing what he's doing, Yo still believes that it has to be some good in how, because the classic Yo belief is that if you can see ghosts, you're at the very least, in your deepest heart, a good person. So how has got to have a reason to do what he's doing. And we see Yo's father, Fucking finally! It's been a while since this show began. It's been a while since we had some progression that naturally would involve Yo's father, but now he's here. We see him is spying on Yo and his friends, which is weird in its own way, but hey, he's here. I'm happy to see him. And so he calls Yo's grandfather, and Yo's grandfather decides it's time. He takes Anna down to the catacombs of the Asakura compound, and they're going to open the tomb or the temple, I can't remember which one. I'll put the scene on screen right now on top of me. They are going to open, I'm going with the temple now. I'm going with the temple. They're going to open the temple of how the truth is going to be revealed to at least one of our characters. And so the knowledge that they have about our villain is going to expand from now on. And so we have advancements. It's a slow episode. It's not my favorite. There's nothing particularly stellar about it for me apart from that one demeanor change that we see in Yo, like that line was crossed and I really like that. It's very character defining for who Yo is. And apart from that, it's just, just a solid episode, much slower than last week's. We get time to breathe in, we get time to rest, absorb everything that is going on in the story. And next week, maybe we have another slow episode because it's horror horror focused, but it was yet another great half an hour to spend with these characters that I love and meet the new Lyserg and having him join our group. And once more, I cannot wait for next Friday because I just want to spend more time with these lovable goofs. And so those are my thoughts on Shaman King episode 14, Lyserg, the Avenger. Let me know what you thought of it. Drop it all in the comments below. Engage with one another and with me. Obviously, you can do that every time you want. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've watched thus far, the subscribe button. You've enjoyed it. You're watching it still. You hear, you see me talking to you right now. You enjoy the video on some level. Subscribe. Please. Thank you so much for watching once more. Stay tuned for many more reviews very soon. And so until the next one, love each other and love the movies.